But the idea that a child may never be able to escape that poverty because she lacks a decent education or health care or a community that views her future as their own, that should offend all of us. And it should compel us to action. We are a better country than this. It's a crippling problem, poverty in America. Today, 45 million people are poor in this country. 51% of America's public school children come from low-income households. That's nearly 15 million kids living in poverty. These kids are living in cities, in the country, in suburbs, all across America. And to show this stark reality, MSNBC has launched a project called The Geography of Poverty. Over the next several months, MSNBC is following photographer Matt Black as he takes a cross-country journey, taking portraits of America's poorest places. He'll visit more than 70 communities considered poverty areas, meaning that more than 20% of the people living there are poor. Along with MSNBC reporter Tremaine Lee, Black is documenting the stories of the people he meets along the way, people who have been marginalized and who don't have a voice. It's one thing to talk about poverty from some think tank in Washington. It's quite another to put a face to the problem and give a voice to those who need it most. Joining me now is MSNBC national reporter Tremaine Lee, who's been reporting for this project, and photographer Matt Black joins me on the phone. He's traveling across the country and just left New Orleans. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Matt, let me go to you first. What's this journey been like so far? Well, you know, it's, I'm about a month into it now, and in a lot of ways it feels like I haven't left the Central Valley of California, which is where I'm from. Um, the same sorts of conditions, uh, the Central Valley, which I've been photographing there uh, for about 20 years. Now, you, because like this one. is a personal journey for you, you wrote on your webpage that, quote, for most of my adult life, I've witnessed and photographed the impact of poverty. To grow up poor is to grow up in a world that tells you that you don't matter. How has photographing people in towns affected by poverty impacted you personally? Well, I mean, I, I've taken that as, you know, my role as a photographer is to document these communities and document these things um, and, you know, to try to give a voice to places that don't really have a voice. You know, this is a part of an America that, you know, I know, I understand, but I feel like a lot of Americans simply do not recognize is out there. You know, that's Tremaine, that, you know, that, that, that's the point. A lot of Americans don't realize it's out there. There are a lot of misperceptions about poverty uh, in this country. Take a look at these stats. Here's who the poor are in this country. Nearly 15 million children, over 4 million seniors, 11 million black people, nearly 13 million Hispanics, and nearly 19 million white people. Poverty doesn't discriminate. Aren't there a lot of misperceptions about poverty in this country, Tremaine? Because we live in such segregated worlds and we live so far apart, there are always these issues that seem like it's their problem. Right. It's those people over there. But when you take a look at this geography of poverty from the Southwest um, in, in places along the, the border with Mexico, you look at the South between New Orleans and Baton Rouge, you look through the Rust Belt in the Northeast, and every shade is represented here. Unfortunately, because of stereotypes and these institutional racism, it always seems to be focused on black and brown people. But this is an issue. They make the face of poverty black and brown when it's not that way when you look at exactly. the stats. And that's what's amazing about Matt Black's work, um, which is if anyone hasn't seen them, go to uh, our website, uh, msnbc.com slash geography of poverty. You see the faces of these people who are forgotten, who are marginalized, and as you said, who don't have a voice. There are so many people whose homes you go in and you open the refrigerator, there isn't any food there. 
and they are scraping by and they're grinding and people have this perception that uh, poor people are lazy they're some of the hardest working people in this country especially when you think about people along in the southwest these migrant workers who, who are you know running from the law they're working in your fields they're they're taking our fruit that we take for granted eating every single day wow. and this is America this is us Matt has anything out there in this journey for this uh, particular project surprised you? Have you encountered anything that surprised you? The most surprising thing really is what I said earlier in that it all feels connected. And I think that's what we're getting at here is that you know, there are many different ways to splice poverty into different uh, communities, different ways of looking at it. But you know, this continuous journey that I've been on one mile after another, it feels like one America to me. Um, and the degree to which that feels true, you know, uh, into this trip, that's what surprised me. And Tremaine, uh, it really is another America outside of those that are clearly the super rich, but even the comfortable, even middle class. There is another America that does have no food in the refrigerator, that are struggling to make it and work every day. Oh, well, well that's right. The, many of them are what we call the working poor. So you talk about 45 million people living in poverty. There are countless other millions who dance along that federal poverty line, who don't necessarily fall below the poverty line to a degree where they can get federal benefits, but they're working hard every day. But not only are people economically isolated, spend time on the Native American reservations where they're geographically isolated away from everything. But then you go to a cancer rally between that stretch between Baton Rouge and New Orleans, where right. you have these old poor black towns where folks are suffering because of big industry. They, they talk about mysterious deaths, sores that won't heal. All these small, poor black towns all clustered around um, what is uh, this stretch that has more refineries and big industry than anywhere in the Western Hemisphere. And so so often, people don't care because, again, a lot of times we view it as us and them, and that's part of the problem. Jermaine Lee and Matt Black, thank you so much for your work on this project. And you can see more of Matt's photos and Tremaine's reporting at msnbc.com slash geography of poverty. Or check out the MSNBC Instagram feed at msnbcphoto.